maybe it wouldn't do a burnout. Welcome to the j and test video of MSCE 147. This is a 1995 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS with Whoa. the Impala, not Monte. That was an honest mistake. 1995 Chevrolet Impala SS. Uh, I was thrown off by the incorrect size rear tires, folks. I was looking at these little tiny rubber bands and I thought to myself, those don't belong on this. <laughs> Clean car, obviously been resprayed at some point in its life. Look at that! Look at that! Corvette! Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Powered by Corvettes. The beautiful dark cherry pearl metallic, whatever the heck the actual name of this thing is. The LT1 under the hood is being sold as a swap. Motor, transmission, ECU accessories. Ready to go. We will have a set of four OEM wheels. The right front looks like it's got some some skull curbage on it, a little rough. I did list them with the tires, but I did tell them that <laughs> they're the wrong, wrong size. Wrong size. Nice Impala SS seat set. The driver's side will need a little bit of repair. Uh, we're gonna give you the column with that. Or sorry, not the column, the console. You did do that, right, Andy? I did console separately. Well, we're gonna have to fix that. Okay. These are useless without said console. Oh. The only, only way you could ever get buckets in one of these, you have to have a set console or you have a problem. There's that nice rear seat. A little bit of B-body knowledge for you. Also, 95 is a column shift car. Very confusing. Very, very confusing. You're looking for it down here, and it's up here. All the parts you guys see here will be listed for sale. Obviously, they're going to need a little bit more paint. Hopefully, you guys are a little bit better at painting than these dudes. Let's step inside and fire up this beast of a automobile ha. Ha. not today junior andy said that's gonna start, it should start. on today's episode of jump box of our lives <laughs> try it out ha. okay all right. all right stop collaborate and listen well while well, andy's doing that you should check out my laser Hey Mason, red and green lasers, can you hook me up with that? They're the radish combination out there. All right. Check out my laser. That is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's try this again. What is going on? There we go. Race cars doing race car things. Nice and smooth running here. traction and a Plymouth rear end work it just does uh, Joe dirt 2004 oh man sounds like a trailer park in here all right oh dear sir how's the radio is the radio, radio any good did not get listed because it's got a bunch of broken buttons Ooh, okay all right same with the heater we are making oil pressure, all of it. We're charging, we have gas. Let's go ahead and test out the transmission. Let's get reverse. Right. I won't do a burnout. He bet me it wouldn't do a burnout. All right. Now I'm going to put the window up. Yeah, it smells like freedom in here. All right. Uh, climate control. Usable. Got a bad knob. Look at it blowing all the smoke out. That was, that was not a good idea, guys. That was not a good idea. 
Uh, let's start testing some parts. Andy's gonna open up the door. We're taking this test video outside. All right, let's test out some parts. We got power windows on this side working well. Power windows on that side working well. Uh, this dash is in good condition. We're gonna get this all listed for sale. I know this lower bezel is very hard to find. Uh, the ashtray is good. The lighter is punched out there. That's not a big deal. I don't see any brakes though. Uh, the headlight switch is good as well. Very common to go bad on these. Center console's in nice shape. It is a little loose, but it's all here and complete. Uh, door panels, like I said, good condition. Pretty nice looking car. Pretty nice looking car. There's the wiper motor. All right, well, I totally did not expect to do that this morning. I apologize, fellow co-workers. Somebody oh, called me out. Yeah. Hey, someone's gonna buy that swap for their hot rod. Who wants a hot rod that can't do a burnout? Yeah, exactly. Who wants a hot rod that can't do a burnout? All right, guys. No, lost my train of thought. This, that's gonna conclude the test video of MSCE 147, our 1995 Chevrolet Impala SS uh, accidental burnout car. If you guys are looking for any parts off of this vehicle, such as that swap, the posi traction rear end, which is tested well. Uh, those seats, door panels, anything to restore your 94 to 96 SS, that car is gonna have it. We also have quite a few others in the yard. So if you guys are looking for any parts, leave a link down below to our website, www.jnjautoricking.com, or you guys can give us a call at 800-425-1555. Our website does have a cool new texting feature. Uh, if you're busy at work and just need to get a price on some parts or maybe order something, it's gonna be your best option. I'm John at JNJ Auto Wrecking, guys. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Thanks for watching. Now I gotta go clean up my mess. Have a good day.